everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today we got a score video. Uh, been a long time coming. I've been wanting one. And yeah, it's not the top of the line, so to speak. But it's still serving a purpose. So, uh, don't forget to have your Trump coffee. And uh, if you need me to wait, too bad. You should have been prepared before you hit that like or hit that watch button. So, let's go ahead and show you what we got to unwrap. Uh, we got an unboxing. And uh, as you notice, I've cleaned off the bench and made a spot for it. So, this is where it's going to go. And uh, we'll bring it up here and show it to you. So here's what we got. We have a Windsor Design eight drawer wood tool chest from Harbor Freight. Uh, I'll put the uh, uh, link to it in the description. But I could have got one sooner and cheaper when I was at Harbor Freight the last time I got tools. But I just hadn't decided whether I wanted to go ahead and get it or not. But by the time I decided I had to get it online because I wouldn't it would have cost me more to take and go get it. So and gas. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, get a razor or a pocket knife. A dull one. Make sure it's a dull one. Because you want to work for this. So we'll go ahead and cut this up open. The only place that I've seen that was bad is right here. And it looks like the the hit didn't go no further than that. So it should be in styrofoam right there. It looks like there is. We'll see. It was delivered by FedEx. Alright. So now we've got styrofoam and I can feel the electricity coming off of it. And uh, we'll probably end up keeping this box. Just for in case I want to move, I got the box that came into it. Into it. I don't know if I like that handle on top. So let's remove this box. There ain't nothing else in there. And put this back up on the bench. Alright. In plastic. But I needed something to house all my um, tooling that I don't really want to get messed up, like calipers and uh, stuff like that. Uh, before I go any further, I just noticed here, uh, I've been picking up, or not picking up, but removing squirrel turds in my freaking shop. So apparently yesterday they come in here and shit all over the place. So that's an update on the squirrels. And if they keep doing that, them squirrels ain't going to last very long. They're going to be on the dinner plate. <laughs> anyway, so there's your update on the squirrels. All right, so now we've got... I would have thought they would have a door or a lid stop. Yeah, it's a little bit like too much pressure on that uh, them hinges they only bend it so far so we're probably going to have to add a uh, rail to keep it from sliding i think i have one uh, so already i can see an issue 
So we'll put you over here. I'm going to set you up right here and let you look down on it. So hold on. All right. So the inside of it's coated with green. And here's your keys. You got two different keys. I don't know what the two keys would be for. Uh, that one goes to that one. But what do these go to? They don't go to this. Oh, I see. Okay. So that's to lock this one, which I probably will never, ever, ever use. Now I can't even get it to work. That's junk. Look at that key. Ain't that about the cheesiest damn key you ever want to see? Now why couldn't they have taken and left that off of there and used another lock like this one down here on the door? All right, so even got one of them uh, dry packs. So we'll shut that back up. And we'll show the front of it. All right, we got a piece of cardboard in between to protect the uh, drawers from hitting this. That was a good idea. And this will probably stay just like this all the time. So, those are loose. So we got trays. It's got different compartments in it. One full compartment, and all these are loose. Right, let's go around and tighten up the bolts. And then we got another one with, uh, now I wonder if you could change those around. Let's say I wanted all of them to be on this side. I wonder if you can change them around. By God, you can. So that's what we're gonna do. So now all these over here are full drawers and one full drawer under here and then these two will be for little stuff. All right, then we got the big drawer. And another big drawer with another dry pack in it. Matter of fact, why don't I just leave that in there? I think I left the one up here. Nope, I didn't. Let's leave that up there. It does get a little damp around here, so it wouldn't hurt to have that in there to, just to help. Probably won't do much. Little's better than nothing, right? So anyway, here's the plan. I plan to use that right there. Well, I can see my bench is not level. So I'm probably going to have to prop something underneath that. Let's see how thick it is. Yep. About that thick. So we got to find us a piece of wood or metal or something to put underneath that that's that thick. In fact, I think I just put a piece over here. Well, looky here. Look what I have. I never got it. So now, let's see how good I was on figuring out. So we need to come out a little bit further. My hair. And remove these two, remove this one, and we're hoping that we're not going to have to move Sarah, Sarah, my, my baby doll, prettiest woman alive. 
And if you don't like Sarah Palin, I never want to speak to you again. <laughs> My landlord comes in here and insults her every time he comes in here. I told him last time, I said, you insult her one more time, you can get out of here and never come back. So we're never going to lock this. I don't see any reason for it. The only time I ever lock my toolbox is when I'm in transport, if I'm moving. Uh, I see some spots here where the glue really didn't do anything to hold the green down. So uh, let's hope we don't have a problem with that. Um, just that one corner there so far. So now, let's see what we got to put in it. <laughs> so for starters, we got these. And this one. got this we got these and as you can see how rough this outer shell looks just from setting around so I don't like this stuff being open to the elements like that and it gets overwhelming for cleaning and stuff and you slack off of it so if I have it in a nice box, I ain't got to worry about it. At one point, I had it built or uh, sticky tape. I'll take that off later. But just kind of want to get these in somewhere where they're in good a good atmosphere. So. We're going to use this drawer for all of our calipers and veneer tool and that ruler. Now we'll even throw that one in there <laughs> just to fill it up. Maybe we can get more in here. All the matter is how you stack them. That looks a lot better. Alright. So then I just gotta go around and find all my stuff and fill my box. So I got a long way to go in to fill my box. Uh any of you guys want to send me some stuff to fill my box up, you just go feel right at home doing that. <laughs> So, this box looks really good in front of Sarah Palin. I'll let you guys see a front view of it. Ain't she sexy? Woo -hoo. Sexy thing. And we got the Trump coffee with the machine box. Or, uh, Machinist box. Had to move my light over there. It was over there. So this actually works better because then I can take this and move it over here if I want to see something. Or if I need to use it on the mill, it should reach. So I should be able to do that number if I need to. So that was why I placed that there. I thought that'd be a good place to place it. Uh, I actually need one on the lathe too. And it's dirty right now. And the bench on the uh, mill is dirty. Did a job yesterday. And that's, uh, here, let me put you up here. So, there you have my unboxing. And 
my final notes on this would be it looks good it's uh it's actually built pretty nice it's not busted up it's not cracked i mean they're they're uh finishing is a little rough uh they did do a pretty nice job putting this belt in there and i can see now every time you touch it you're gonna leave a mark in it so why am i still touching it right <laughs> all right and i don't like this lock this lock here on this i, I couldn't get it to work let me try it one more time here All right, does that have to be down? Or does that have to be on? There's only one way that key can go. And it won't turn. So, the lock does not work. So, we're going to have to change this. Oh, there we go. Maybe that did it. Yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Yeah, I can't get this lock to work. And if you turn it, oh, wait a minute, there we go. Oh, there we go. We have it's got a little click to it. All right, we got it now. So you just turn it counterclockwise until it goes all the way around. It's almost straight up and down. And then just one click and it's locked. Now, like I said before, I'm never going to use that. So I'm glad I figured that out before I steered you guys wrong. That lock ain't nothing wrong with it. That's a little flimsy for a key, but that's a flimsy lock. So we're just going to leave this thing open like that at all times. Maybe. Kind of looks good, but better not do that. Have dust in there and everything. So, I like the drawers. Uh, I don't know what you can put in these little compartments, but these here slides or dividers can come out and you can divide them in half, or you can do a small one and a big one, or whatever. I mean, it's, it's open to all different configurations and if you want it to be an open drawer just take the whole thing clear out i don't want to because then that means i got to put it back <laughs> and all those will come out so i could probably turn that upside down and it'd drop right out so it's got its options you can change it to whatever tool you want uh like I said, I only got one drawer full yet. Working on a second drawer. Still need some stuff to put in the top. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.